Hey guys, Daryl here. Um, just wanted to take a couple minutes to say a, a thank you to everybody that's followed my page and liked it so far. I uh, appreciate your support and I'm looking forward to sending more stuff your way, so uh, stay tuned. Uh, but also while I have you here, I just wanted to uh, take a couple minutes uh, just to share my thoughts and feelings on the uh, current events and the protests that's been going on. Uh, I said I'm a Marine, so I don't have many thoughts, so it shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Um, also, I don't speak very well as a Marine, so if I do not say the right thing or if I stumble, uh, I apologize ahead of time. Um, but well, let me just start by purposing by saying I am a white guy, if you couldn't tell. Uh, so I'm not going to claim to really fully understand what uh, how you know, the black community feels or, um, uh, or how a person of color, how they feel every day. But also, uh, let me say, I'm, I am a huge supporter of law enforcement, but I'm also you know, a huge supporter, of course, of uh, uh, equal rights for everybody. Uh, I don't think you have to be one or the other. Uh, yeah, I believe you can, you can support both. Um, and also, I say, you know, I don't have all the answers. You know, I can't fix anything uh, you know, by myself. Uh, but uh, what I do have to offer is some, hopefully some uh, words of hope. Um, and uh, so I'll just say, uh, starting off that yeah, I think you know there's injustice and inequality all over the world uh, and we can be here all day talking about it uh, but since you know the things going on here in America I'll speak you know you know from you know an American point of view um, but the, that's just it you know uh, America is not a thing uh, it's the individuals the people you know that, that make up America so and I know a lot of us uh, feel today that our government on every level is failing us, and in many ways it is, uh, but uh, fortunately we are still in uh, a free country and we have the rights and abilities to shape our future and the direction that we want it to go. And I believe our country has come a long ways. Um, you know, we're not the same country we were 200 years ago, 100 years ago, 60 years ago. Uh, we've uh, progressed a lot uh, when it comes to uh, racial equality, uh, amongst other things, uh, but it's taken time and I believe it will still continue to take time. Uh, but that's only gonna happen, you know, as long as we become more educated and more tolerant, more understanding uh, and caring about others. And I believe things like this, you know, kind of brings things to the surface and, uh, and does help. Just like our country isn't the same it was 200 years ago, you know, I'm not the same person I was 20 years ago and I won't be the same person in, in 20 years from now because I have uh, constantly try to evolve um, and change, you know, uh, you know, the, the bad things that I didn't like about myself uh, to become a better person. And I think as a country, we need to do the same. Uh, and I believe we have, uh, in, in general, tried to continue to be better. Uh, but like I said, we still, you know, have a ways to go. Will uh, racism ever end? You know, probably not in my lifetime, but uh, hopefully eventually maybe one day all the people who, you know, refuse to change uh, or, or continue to teach, you know, their next generation all these uh, hateful things. Hopefully they'll eventually die off and it'll just be the people left, you know, that uh, want to be better and want to strive. Um, my wife told me the other day there was something that she read somewhere, uh, that uh, analogy that I liked, uh, you know, just think of ourselves as um, a cup filled to the brim. Um, so if that cup gets bumped, whatever it's filled with is going to spill out. So we just have to be careful, you know, uh, what we fill ourselves with and also what we fill others with. And also, I'm all about peace and love uh, and, uh, you know, don't condone violence. But, you know, sometimes I can understand, you know, things happen. Um, I'm a Marine. We love to destroy stuff. Uh, you know, our military even has a name for it. It's called shock and awe. I'm sure you all are familiar with it. But uh, it is a double-edged sword, and unfortunately, uh, communities do get hurt as well as innocent people get hurt. So, like I said, we always want to strive to uh, do things the most peaceful, peaceful way. Uh, but I can you know, understand the, the, the squeaky wheel gets the oil. But honestly, if uh, somebody had their knee on my daughter's neck and she died and nobody listened to me and nothing was getting done about it, you know, I'd probably tear up some stuff too. But my opinion um, as a one human, an American to another, personally, uh, I don't think you have to love me. Uh, you don't even have to like me. Uh, but I would say, you know, that uh, I expect you to respect my life, uh, and you got to listen to my opinions, listen to my, you know, my thoughts. Uh, you may not like what I have to say, 
um, that you can always turn it off or walk away. And I understand that you know, we all come from all different walks of life, um, and there's going to be bad people, you know, and, and all those walks of life as well too. Um, and there's lots of blurred lines and gray areas, but there are definitely still rights and wrongs, um, I believe. And if uh, you are hating somebody or hurting someone, you know, uh, because of the color of their skin, uh, their gender, uh, who they choose to love, and that's definitely wrong. Um, so, you know, I, and if you're allowing other people to continue to be hurt, you know, uh, I believe we should, you know, protect those who can't protect themselves. Um, but, you know, other than that, if you're, uh, if you're if you're not hurting anybody, then you know you do you, and you know, let me do me. But anyway, uh, for what it's worth, uh, that's my two cents. Um, uh, I may be wrong. I've been wrong about a lot of stuff in the past. Just ask my wife; uh, she can tell you. Uh, but hopefully, you know these conversations, you know, uh, will help you know my, myself um, and other people. Uh, I just uh, hope that you know uh, we all continue to be safe out there. Be kind. And I um, said, uh, I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.